In this lesson, we'll prove that a quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram using analytical geometry. So if you consider the properties of a parallelogram, then you know that the opposite sides are equal in length. So we can use the distance formula to prove that the opposite sides are equal in length. You also know that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel to each other. So you can use gradients to prove that the opposite sides of the given quadrilateral are parallel to each other. My preference is to use the gradient formula because it doesn't have a square root in and it is a simple formula which I would have done over and over again. So I'm quite confident in using the gradient. So I would prove that the gradient of line AB is equal to the gradient of line CD. And then I'll find the gradient of BD and prove that it's equal to the gradient of line AC. And when the opposite sides have the same gradients, then this diagram would be a parallelogram. So first I'll find the gradient of line AB, which is the difference of y's over the difference of x's, and the gradient of line AB is equal to 1. Next I found the gradient of line CD using the gradient formula, and I found that that gradient is also equal to 1. Therefore, I can conclude that the gradient of AB is equal to the gradient of CD and that the line AB is parallel to the line CD. Next, I'll find the gradient of BD and the gradient of AC. Now, I have found the gradient of line AC to be negative 1 and the gradient of line BD to be equal to negative 1. Therefore, I can conclude that the gradient of AC is equal to the gradient of BD, and therefore the line AC is parallel to the line BD. Therefore, we have proven AB is parallel to CD, and AC is parallel to BD. So we can conclude that ABCD is a parallelogram. And what we have proven is that opposite sides are parallel.